When President Putin launched his invasion on the 24th of February, it was the start of death and destruction in Ukraine. But the reverberations were felt around the world, including almost 8,000 kilometers away in the corridors of the UN in New York. La I call to order the 9,143rd session of the Security Council. What had happened was clear-cut. A permanent member of the UN Security Council had breached one of the main tenets of the organization's founding charter. One country should never invade another. Russia's veto power meant the Security Council was paralyzed. Instead, on three occasions, Russia was left almost isolated in votes in the UN General Assembly. Some had feared the war would lead to the virtual collapse of the UN. Good morning. But looking back, the Secretary General of the UN, Antonio Guterres, told me he was pleased that the organization had some limited successes on the ground. The UN is a complex organization that has different dimensions and different parts. Obviously, for the Security Council, this war has been uh, a very dramatic factor of uh, inefficiency. But this war has demonstrated the enormous value of uh, humanitarian action led by UN and UN agencies. This has demonstrated that the UN is probably the only platform that was able to seriously talk with both sides to try to solve not the war, unfortunately, but some specific problems that have dramatic impacts at global level. The UN organized the evacuation not just of Ukrainian fighters, but also of women and children from the Avastal steelworks in Mariupol in May. Then in July, working with Turkey, the UN arranged a deal to allow grain ships to once again cross the Black Sea, partly alleviating the global food crisis. I think that Guterres has really stepped up in response to this war. He's previously had a reputation for caution, he's had a reputation for not challenging the major powers. But in this case, he has stepped in personally to a lot of diplomacy around humanitarian issues in Ukraine and also the global food crisis. And I think he's gained credibility uh, on the world stage as a result of his efforts. The Secretary General has made it clear that he doesn't see any chance of meaningful negotiations to end the war anytime soon. Instead, the UN is focusing on trying to further alleviate the suffering. They want to extend and expand the Black Sea Grain Initiative and to work with the International Committee of the Red Cross to arrange a mass prisoner exchange between Ukraine and Russia. Despite the UN's limited diplomatic achievements over the past 10 months, the situation is still extremely delicate. The US and its NATO allies want the UN to send an investigation team to examine claims that Iranian drones have been used by Russia. But Al Jazeera understands the Secretary General is stalling because he fears Russia will then pull out of the grain deal. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.